What is the main message of this book and why did we write it? All development is about people. And when people feel included in the development process and believe that they and their descendants will benefit from it, the gains are greater and communities and societies grow stronger. We call this social sustainability. And it's the subject of our new book, Social Sustainability and Development, Meeting the Challenges of the 21st Century. Social sustainability has four key components, social cohesion, inclusion, resilience, and process legitimacy. We wrote the book to advance a better understanding among development practitioners, academics, and policymakers of why these areas are so important to meet the challenges of the 21st century. So what's the global context for why this agenda matters? Well, as we face the climate crisis, rising conflict, shrinking civic space, and an erosion of trust between and among governments and their citizens, a socially sustainable approach to development is more important now than ever. Around one third of the world's population is at risk of social exclusion. The same proportion of people would not recommend their community to a friend or to a relative as a place to live. Only around 20% of people think that most other people can be trusted. Social sustainability is the third pillar in what we can call the sustainability triad. Economic, environmental, and social sustainability. How we create opportunities and shared prosperity amid today's challenges matters greatly. In the book, we introduce the concept of process legitimacy to describe the extent to which a community or society accepts who has authority, what goals they pursue, and how policies and programs get implemented. What do we find? What does the data show? The data backs up this message. Our social sustainability global database finds that inclusion, cohesion, resilience, and process legitimacy are all correlated with poverty reduction, human capital, human development, and equality at the macro level. To measure this, it draws on 71 indicators from 266 countries and territories from the period 2016-2020. Take a look at some of these results. At the World Bank, how are we putting social sustainability into practice? In Kenya, the World Bank is supporting a project to finance locally-led climate action, also known as FLOCA. FLOCA is the first national-scale model of devolved climate finance. The program supports partnerships between local governments and their citizens to assess climate risks and to identify inclusive solutions tailored to local needs. A key starting point when we think about how to advance social sustainability in practice is to recognize that economic development always has the potential to be socially disruptive. So it's essential that we understand the policy arena, that we know who are the key stakeholders, their objectives, their incentives, but also the prevailing norms and values. Social change tends to happen slowly and windows of opportunity are often difficult to anticipate. But staying engaged, investing in relationships, and building trust typically pay off. Our book provides a path forward to address climate change, mitigate conflict, and accelerate poverty reduction and shared prosperity, all the while focusing on the people who are at the heart of development. <laughs>